morning guys welcome back to another sunday morning tea with layla alina um if you're new to this channel hey if you're a returning participant welcome back babe and um today we're going to talk about boundaries how to set them what does it mean to set boundaries and how does it feel honestly truly i had a different topic plan for today but I left my calendar at home, which had the topic I had in mind. So I was like, on my journey to the beach, I was like, what's a topic that I can talk about that is beneficial to the listening ear? And boundaries is one of them. I am not the best at setting boundaries, but I'm becoming better. Um, so first we're gonna talk about what does it mean to set boundaries? For me, setting boundaries is really taking control of your life. That's what it means to me. What it means to me, setting boundaries, is taking control of your life, knowing when to say no, and ah! it was the girl, the birds is flying. <laughs> okay, um, like I said, what it means to me is taking back control of your life, saying no when you need to, and just doing, doing what makes you feel good, being wherever you feel like it feels good to be at, and just really, honestly, truly, being okay with not wanting to do something that you don't want to do. I feel like that's what it means to set boundaries and like not become, not being a people pleaser. Undoing the habit of people pleasing. I feel like that's what it means for boundaries, right? So let's get into how do we set boundaries? How do we set boundaries? How do we tell people no? How, after being so used to saying yes, even when you don't want to say yes and going when you don't want to go, how do you stop doing it? Um, me personally, um, I started small. I just, when I didn't want to do something, the answer was no. People would say I'm a bitch for that. People would call me me. People would say, um, I'm heartless, I'm cold, and stuff like that. But it was never that. It was more so me just not wanting to put my energy and my time into it and for a long time people would guilt trip me and make me feel like it was wrong for me not to want to do something for them or wrong for me to say no or wrong for me to tell them not right now not today they used to make me feel bad and I used to feel bad until I was talking to my therapist and she was telling me how like you know it's okay if you don't want to Layla Pitch is walking up on me, y'all. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Don't you come over here. Ah! Shoo! Shoo, shoo, shoo. Uh. Over there. Okay. Um, but yeah. She told me how it was okay to say no. And it took a long time for me to really comprehend that. But as of this year, let's say, as of this year, let's say, I've been saying no, even when it hurts the most, I still say no. Even when it's like, damn, I know I can help, but I don't have the energy to, I just tell them that, I be honest. I feel like, and being honest with the person that you're setting a boundary with is most important. And if they don't respect that boundary, then that's something they have to do with themselves. Um, that's something they have to, no matter how big or how little your boundary is, your boundary is your boundary. And if that person don't respect it, then that person shouldn't be in your life. Like, let me stop punching. Like, when, this, this actually happened recently, let me tell you a story. Um, maybe last month, or maybe this month, beginning of this month, something like that, I don't know. Um, I was on the phone with this guy that I met on 4th of, that I met on 4th of July, and I'm in the shower and I'm just talking to him. And we're not on FaceTime though, we're like voice calling. And um, I'm telling him like, you know, I don't like going out after 8 p.m. because I usually like, that's usually the time I'm getting in the shower where I'm winding down, I'm chilling out. Like I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna shop. I don't really wanna be out at that late at night, you know? I feel like that's too late for me. I'm trying to build a routine of waking up at five o'clock in the morning. So if I was to like make a habit of leaving out the, up the house late as hell just to hang out with a guy like no I'll be going against myself 
right? And I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of going against myself. And people who don't respect your boundaries are making you go against yourself. Just remember that, okay? And um, we end up talking about boundaries. And he asked me, what is a boundary? And I explained to him, oh, a boundary is basically, you know how I told you I didn't want to go out with you at 8 p.m.? That's my boundary. He said, that's a stupid ass boundary. I mean, I can see if it was a boundary, like you don't want a nigga to touch you or something. And I, I was flabbergasted. I was beyond flabbergasted because I felt like no matter how little or big my boundary was, my boundary is my boundary. And if you do not respect that, you do not respect me. So when he told me it was stupid, I said, well, take it up. Well, that's a personal problem and take it up between God. Take it up between you and God. I said some shit like that. And he was like, "Take that's a personal problem. Take it up with God. That's a personal problem. Take it up with God. He was like, fuck you in your boundaries. Click. He hung up in my face. <laughs> and I'm like, that is crazy. In my shower, I'm really like, damn, like, are you serious? Are you really mad that? Are you like really, really mad that? Can you get out of my face, please, pigeon? You scaring me. Okay, but I'm like, are you really? Don't you come over here. Are you a girl pigeon? You look like a girl pigeon. Anyways, I'm like, are you really mad that I'm just like not giving you what you want? Like I'm not feeding into disrespecting my boundaries with you? Like I was, I was so flabbergasted. I was so shocked. And then he texts me, but I, by the time he texts me, I had blocked him on my phone. Because I was like, well, if you're going to hang up in my face and disrespect me and my boundaries, oh yeah, you're blocked. And he's still unblocked. He's still not unblocked to this day. Um, and I only seen his message because on my iPad, you know how you, when you have your iCloud, it like kind of delayed for me blocking him. So the message was sent to my phone, sent to my iPad, and I seen it and I laughed. Like, boy, I'm not going to deal with you. I feel like that's really immature. Um, it, so if you are watching this, you are very immature very fucking immature because I know you still follow me on Instagram we still follow each other on Instagram and I'm okay with that you know it's just learn how to respect people boundaries big or small because you wouldn't want somebody disrespecting your boundaries big or small you know what I'm saying so regardless of what boundaries you set for a person if they do not respect it they don't respect you and they shouldn't be in your life okay saying no telling people what you don't want to do and when you don't want to do it is setting healthy boundaries. Now, your tone of voice really do matters. You know, because I know sometimes when people are asking us stuff and, we so, and we're so overwhelmed and tired of people pleasing, we tend to lash out in anger at the person that's just asking a simple question like, hey, can you do this for me? You just go, no! Everybody want me to do something for them, blah, 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 whatever that may consist of. But honestly, truly, you shouldn't react in that manner. Learn to take a deep breath and go, look, no. The answer is no. Some people try to might try to make it seem like you really just you could have said it better. It was no. Honestly, I try my best with communicating my boundary. Um, if you know for a fact you blew it out of proportion with setting the boundary, then you apologize. But if they're trying to guilt trip you into thinking that you blew it out of proportion, yeah. Like I said, they're not meant to be in your life because setting up boundaries is really a gateway to you having a peace of mind and a gateway to you building self-love, right? Because boundaries is a form of self-love. It's showing that you care about your mental health, your emotional health, and your physical health. And if somebody try to get in the way of that, you know, intentionally, unintentionally, you set that boundary. They don't, they don't listen to the boundary or they don't respect your boundary, remove them out of your life. But you know, some, some boundaries can be compromisable. Me personally, I'm not compromising any of my boundaries. I'm not. But I know some people who do compromise some things because they're understanding of the situation and why that boundary needs to be crossed. If you're one of those people, that is understandable. But me personally, I feel like my boundary is my boundary. Do not cross it. If you cross it, you're done for it. I'm not giving out second chances. Sometimes. Sometimes I give out second chances, but it depends on the situation. It, it doesn't consist of if my boundary is broken or not. It's just really case by case, case, case by case basis, right? That was some chamomile tea I got from.
Maisto Luxury Coffee. It's really good and it's calming. And then with the beach the noise and just the instant I have burning, it's it's a vibe. It's a vibe. But anyways, boundaries. Yeah, I feel like boundaries isn't like it's something that can be talked about long liberty, right? But as a, just to keep it a, a short thing and to keep it like straightforward, when you're setting your boundaries, it's hard at first because you're so used to people pleasing and comforting others. But when you, from the first video that I ever made, when you start going down that self-care, self-love journey, setting boundaries is really important. It's like, it's really important. It's very important to whatever journey you're going down, setting boundaries is essential. That should be like your top priority. I'm gonna set more boundaries. It, it's, it, it encourages a lot of self-love and a lot of self-respect. So I hope you guys do begin to set more boundaries. I hope you guys become okay with saying no find out and realize that there's nothing wrong with not wanting to do something you don't want to do. They can't force you, they can't make you. And if they do call 911, I mean, depending on the certain circumstances, like forceful certain circumstances, if it's something that's really domestic, um, that's what you call 911. I, I kind of blew that out of proportion. I said it in the wrong context. <laughs> But if it's something that's like can easily be dealt with, then I say just fall back from that person. Get your space because they're not respecting your boundaries and they're trying to force you into something that you don't want to do. Walk away. Just walk away from them. And I promise you're going to be at so much more peace. At so much more peace when you set healthy boundaries that benefits your mental, physical, and emotional health. I brought my African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. I'm going to pull a card for you guys. This message is for the collective. It's not a one person thing. It's for the collective. Radical Rebirth is card number five. Yes, you can stop. Stop the struggle. You can choose at any moment to start over and be reborn. Like the sun, you rise again and again. Dust yourself off, move forward, and go for it again. Life is about transition and change. You will fall on your face, change your mind, and need to make a comeback again and again. Release the idea that you messed up if things aren't perfect. Stop waiting to be ready. Make new choices and decisions. Your affirmation to repeat is still I rise. Still I rise. I know that, um, I think that was a poem. Yeah. Listen to that poem. You may cut me with your, you may cut me with your eye. You may cut me with your, she said something like that, but still I'll rise. Are you mad that I dance like I have diamonds that's a meaning of my God? Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Um, this is really nice. I'm really at peace. I'm gonna do some yoga here. <laughs> Maybe we can, I don't know, some guided meditation together. One of these Sundays, we'll see. But um, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Don't forget to drink your tea and stay hydrated. Get some peace, set more boundaries, and love yourself. Peace, love, and prosperity to you all, and I'll see you guys in the next